Hello Taurus, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. All right, Taurus, let's get right into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus in regards to love for May? Messages for Taurus, please. In regards to love for May 2020. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. And a special thank you to those of you who leave me such sweet comments. It does not go unnoticed. We got awareness. Okay. Seeing beneath the surface. Peeking past the veil there. I'm using this as, um, this is the Ojo Zen Tarot, but I use it as an Oracle deck. We got comparison. So there could be, um, someone here is comparing themselves or their connection to someone else's. That's for some of you. This could also be someone who's comparing their current partner to someone else. We got receptivity. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh no, we got another ant. Go, go away. Go away, ant. I don't like killing ants, so I'm trying to like capture it. <laughs> Oh no, it went away, okay. It's so weird that there's like an ant, like ants here because this is my office, so it's not like I eat here. Anyway, inner voice, okay, so intuition here. Um, okay. Someone here is listening to the, their intuition um, and it's allowing them to see something very clearly here. Um, I'm also getting receiving messages from spirit in a, in a way, whether it's in your dreams or just synchronicities or signs that you're seeing in your day to day life. Something's capturing your attention. Taurus. Um, I have breakthrough at the bottom of the deck. It's, yes, it's almost like breaking through something here. You're seeing you're seeing something clearly. You've probably been comparing your, yourself, your journey to someone else's or com comparing a con uh, someone that you're in a connection with to someone you already know, something like that. Let's get into the tarot and see. Now this is a Druidcraft tarot, as you can see, it's the size of my hand, so bear with me as I try to shuffle this deck. I love it though, so. Spirit, messages for Taurus in regards to love for May 2020. Messages for Taurus, please. May 2020. What do they need to know in regards to love? What do they need to know, Spirit, in regards to love? Okay. Let's get into this, Taurus. Taurus, please, Spirit. Oh, thank you. Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's new clarity here. An awareness. You could also be comparing, almost like weighing your options here. Like, com like uh, it's almost like you're you're having um, an internal battle between your mind and your heart. Eight of Cups, okay, walking away from something that no longer serves you. Feel free to flip the roles. Um, it, this could be you or the person you are dealing with, whether it's now or in the future um, or in the past, because time is fluid. So this could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future, okay? What else do we got here? Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. Someone's walking away. Could be walking away from a family unit or could be walking towards this Ten of Pentacles energy here. What else for Taurus, please? For love, May 2020. 
Five of Wands could be argument. Again, I'm getting also jealousy here. Could be just not seeing eye to eye with someone or uh, not progressing, getting things done here. Anything else? Page of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Someone could have walked away based off of an offer they got. It's almost like a message came in and, and, and someone's like walking to go get it. That's the energy I'm picking up. Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, so there could be a delay in a beginning in a, a new beginning here. Or something here has has not progressed, has not gotten off the ground, has not been created. Something that had a potential to be um, something amazing. Something had a lot of potential and it didn't work. It, it, it something blocked that or ended this new potential. This this something something from being created here. What's at the bottom of the deck? Four of Pentacles. So someone here could be guarding something, guarding their heart, keeping something to themselves. Someone could be uh, thinking about their finances, being frugal at this time, which makes sense. So let's clarify these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Taurus in regards to love. May 2020, please. Help me clarify these messages for Taurus. May 2020. In regards to love. There could be children involved in this situation. I have a page here with the Ten of Pentacles, which I think of a family with children. Doesn't have to be. That's just for some of you. For Taurus, please. All right, let's get into this. Let's start with this Ace of Swords. What's this clarity here? Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Swords for Taurus. The Emperor reversed. Wow. Feeling powerless. Sign of Aries. Someone could feel like they've lost control of a situation and it's time to draw boundaries, it's time to take charge, cut out what no longer serves you or what gets in your way. Yeah, someone here wants to rebalance the situation, but I don't think they have the strength or the power to do that right now. Someone here has been giving more than another person, has been making more of an effort than someone else. There's been an imbalance. There's the Eight of Cups again. Yeah, someone here, the choice, this new beginning starts with someone walking away from a situation that is imbalanced here. Wow, Ace of Swords reversed. There could have been lies or manipulation or deception here. Could be self-deception or it could be someone literally lying to you. Um, this could also be a communication that's extremely painful. Let's see. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups for Taurus. Three of Wands. Okay. Someone could um, could have been waiting for the right time to leave a situation. Um, someone here could be um, traveling a distance here to see someone, to meet someone, to go somewhere else. With the Three of Wands, this is someone who's already put in some sort of planning or effort, and they're just kind of waiting for the next step here. So it's almost like this person was thinking about it for a while or something like that. It's not like this is just, they just picked up and left and they didn't think about it. Yeah, Two of Pentacles reversed. It's like at one point they were going back and forth and then that was, the, you know, the decision was made. 
two of cups reversed. Um, this was the end of a, co a commitment here or a partnership of some sort. Nine of wands reversed at the bottom. Someone gave up. So you tell me about this 10 of pentacles for Taurus. This 10 of pentacles about. The magician reversed. Whew. Someone was not able to manifest a, a stable, strong foundation here. A long-term commitment was not able to be created or manifested because there was always fighting there was always competing there was not seeing eye to eye nothing was nothing ever felt like it progressed could be a lot of ego too a lot of people involved in a situation family friends tell me more about this ten of pentacles thank you yeah queen of wands she came out of reversed aries leo sagittarius energy oh my god sorry <laughs> she came out reversed. Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands energy is someone who is fed up with the situation. Um, there could have been also someone here who was selfish in, in, the, in, in the connection where they only thought about their needs and it caused problems. Queen of Wands reversed is some, also someone who needs attention. So it's almost like they caused fights to get attention. That's for some of you as well. Um, but this had to do with a... A, a commitment of some sort um, someone wanted a ten of Pentacles commitment and they couldn't they couldn't get it off the ground here with I have the ace of wands reverse right under that bottom of the deck I have the four of swords so someone here could be really deep in thought about this um, someone could be emotionally or mentally checked out so it's like they don't even care anymore <laughs> That's just the, the, the vibe I'm getting. Someone could also be keeping this to themselves because I have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So it's almost like someone's not speaking or is very guarded about the fact that they're leaving or they're over this. This could also be, this Queen of Wands in reverse could be uh, manipulative as well. And it's causing problems. Tell me about this Five of Wands down here. Taurus. Five of Pentacles reversed. Tell me more. I feel like there was financial problems here. There you are, Taurus. Higher font. Someone here was trying to do the right thing. Someone was trying to do the right thing, trying to be... Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Someone here was trying to do the right thing, trying to follow their morals, um, what society expects from them, um, following the rules, um, seeking spiritual guidance, perhaps, um, because they wanted to overcome the struggles here, whether they're financial or just struggles in the relationship where things are not working out someone was trying to seek guidance or get some sort of it's almost like they wanted to fix it but it's like they were fixing it by themselves and then with the wheel of fortune here i feel like there's a change there's a there's um fate or destiny stepping in here to change the situation and and when the wheel turns it's never the same again Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles reversed. I feel like someone's going to realize that they can no longer put an effort somewhere where there is no end game. Someone's going to be like holding back here. Tell me more about this uh, Page of Pentacles. What's this all about? Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. The Empress reversed. Wow. So we got the Emperor reversed and the Empress reversed. Wow. A complete fracture in a commitment. This this is the this is two people who are completely fed up with each other who are in a relationship that's bad 
on all fronts. They're just together because they have to be because they have, they're pretending to be a happy family possibly. Or it was good at first. And so they can't let go of the idea that it was good at first. Um, they could have children. Again, I'm getting children here with Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. This is a message though. Communication of some sort. For Taurus, please. Queen of Cups reversed. Jesus. This could be the Empress reversed showing these um, emotional instability here with the Queen of Cups reversed. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This Queen of Cups reversed is very needy, clingy, dependent. She can't think clearly because she's so moody and in her emotions, emotionally unstable, also manipulates emotionally. And this Empress reversed, she's a terrible partner. She also is smothering, too controlling as well. So it's like, whether it's the whether there's too many people here, because this is two, two people here, or someone that has both of these qualities, whatever the case, um, there is a huge imbalance here. There's lack of harmony. I have temperance at the bottom of the deck reversed. Something literally cannot come together in harmony with temperance reversed sign of Sagittarius here I feel like though with page of Pentacles there's almost like a message here a message about starting something new um, a message of um, like a like a job offer or something here um, a message about someone wanting to you know take someone out on a date or um, talking to someone romantically doesn't have to be any it's just a message here that I feel turns this unit upside down could be a message about um, something regarding someone walking away here but whatever this this message or communication is whatever this start is because the page of Pentacles is a student um, the page of Pentacles um, is dedicated is willing to work hard to better themselves to learn a task to dedicate themselves to a task it could also be in a romantic sense someone who wants to take you out on a date someone who wants sees the potential in you to have something long term and so they want to court you they want to start something new with you that has potential so i feel like there's some sort of communication here that that almost like wakes someone up and at the same time throws all this this unit upside down this ten of cups could also be a family like literally family not like your aunts uncles cousins whatever um they could be involved in your in your relationship as well that is causing conflict it's there's an imbalance here emotional instability here tell me about this ace of wands reversed for taurus and this could be you, Taurus, or this could be the person you're in a connection with, or this could be a future partner coming into your life that's going through this right now because time is fluid. So it could have this could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the future. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse. King of Wands reversed. Another partnership here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands also reversed. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands reverse. The Moon, sign of Pisces. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles reversed again. The Moon, inner voice, intuition. And there's, there's something here that it's almost like there's a fear involved in. How do I say this in a short? <laughs> clear away so I'm getting a few things here with the ace of wands reverse king of wands reverse this is a this is someone who's usually able to complete tasks this king of wands upright is a natural born leader this is someone who's used to getting things done and they were not able to get something started or something done here and this king of wands is very unsettled about it um, they could have a short temper they could be um, egotistical they could be erratic almost impulsive in their decisions so they're not making the right decisions anymore 
with the moon here. I'm sorry, guys. That's my dog. Please ignore him. Um, with the moon uh, here, I'm getting the sense that there's something here that's hidden beneath the surface. Again, remember what how we got awareness and inner voice. There's something here that someone is like, they're not quite sure. They don't have all the answers. It's leaving them kind of, I don't know, not feeling, not feeling settled. Okay. So with the moon, I'm getting someone here who's possibly having fear or doubts or not seeing something for what it truly is. But I feel like that there, there's a shift here. Maybe at one point, this person was not aware that this wasn't going anywhere. But there's been a, a shift. Their intuition is telling them something and someone's finally listening. There's an awareness, a, a way of looking beneath the surface here. And it's causing them to stop working or stop putting an effort somewhere. Where it's not, it's, there's no future. There's no potential. Two of wands reversed. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands reverse. Thank you. What was that? The Sun reverse. Yeah, there's there's no satisfaction here, no happiness. There's there, th this isn't going anywhere. If if this is someone who's not sure if some something's not gonna like to last a, the test of time, it's not gonna last the test of time. It's here. At some point, someone's walking away from this. Okay. There's an, there's an inability to manifest a happy family, a happy, stable home. There's, it's, it cannot happen because the, the partnership is failing. I have King of Wands, Queen of Wands reversed, Emperor, Emperor is reversed. These are people that are not meant to be, that cannot be together. They cannot be together. It's not meant to be. Okay. I don't know how else to say it. And I have you know, conflict here twice. So it's almost like there's there's never a blend of harmony. There's never happiness, contentment, because they're not meant to be together. They're forcing something to be together here. And it, it's, it was never meant to be together. So that's why there's always going to be conflict and there's always going to be unhappiness. And someone here knows deep down that they should cut something out, but they're not doing it. Someone knows they have to walk away, but they're not doing it. You know, they know, they know their, their inner voice or intuition is yelling at them. And it's like, they're hearing, they're hearing their intuition, right? They're hearing their intuition. It's going to be up to them to make a decision, you know, stay or go. So I'm going to see where this is headed. What's the challenges or blockages here from someone moving forward? Um, what's next? for this situation. I'm gonna look at all of that in the extended, along with some romance angels, just to see if there's anything else on the horizon for you. So if you're interested in that, check out the extended. The link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, thank you so much, Taurus, for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got some insight into a situation here that you were probably thinking about. Um, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.